Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending April 14th. First up, this is for my friend Navy Thomas 8, Tom. I gave him a little preview of this but didn't give him the article. This is soft serve beer and they're serving this in Tokyo, Japan. Now, I'm not talking about where you take an ice cream cone and you eat your soft serve beer that way, although who knows, maybe they'll serve it that way at some time. But right now what they're doing is they've got a process, and this is the Japanese brewer Kirin that has started this, and what they do is they blow air at minus 5 degrees Celsius through the beer, and then they use it to top off the glass of beer itself. So instead of just having suds at the top, you actually have this frozen soft serve beer itself, so it doesn't water down the beer because it's made out of the same beer. And that way, while you're chatting up some of the lovely ladies at the end of the bar, if uh, a half hour of chatting them up doesn't work and you don't score well, you can still come back to your beer because supposedly 30 minutes later it'll still be nice and icy cold. For now, it's just in Tokyo they're doing this, and as of May, they said they're going to have it through the entire country, which means Japan. So no telling for sure when it's going to reach the United States or other areas, but if it's popular enough, it probably will catch on. So if you get a chance to check this out. This is from Future Tech MSNBC and as usual I will put all the links down below. But yeah, soft serve beer. Sounds like a pretty cool innovative idea if it actually works. Next up, as you probably realized, I did about halfway through the day. This uh, last Friday was Friday the 13th. I Maybe about halfway through the day I actually realized it was. Uh, just a question to my viewers, has Friday the 13th been anything unusual to you as far as a, a day of bad luck, a day of good luck? I have an article here from bordermail.com.au sent by my buddy Mick about 10, su ten superstitions and uh, I'm just going to read them off real quick and let me know if any of you guys believe in any of these superstitions. There's knock on wood, wishbones, pulling the wishbone to see who gets the bigger piece, umbrellas, opening them inside, Death comes in threes, especially of well-known people. Penny, see a penny, pick it up. All the day you'll have good luck. Now, there's a variation of this down south. We were uh, told see a pen and pick it up, but I heard the penny one too also. Broken mirrors, seven years bad luck. Walking under a ladder, I would say that's bad luck any time. Not to do with a superstition. You're just not very smart to walk under ladders. Black cats, I own three of them, so if a black cat crosses my paths, it's just an ordinary day for me multiple times, so... If it was bad luck, I'd have a lot. The number 666, I had a friend of mine that said if she received $6.66 in change, she wouldn't accept it because she was superstitious of the number. I said, well, maybe not for 666, but if anybody ever offers you $666, call me up right away. I'll come and get it for you. Isn't that very nice of me? So, And also the superstition of 13 diners, and I believe this is from the Last Supper where it was Jesus and the Twelve Apostles and obviously Judas the betrayer was the one that left and ended up hanging himself so if you have 13 diners one of them is going to die so anyway let me know if there's any superstitions you found anything about Friday the 13th you found unusual Friday the 13th on average has probably been maybe slightly better day than most for me but then again I'm not really superstitious and this is from Ars Technica. This is probably mostly going to be about people that live in the Midwest and the surrounding areas of the smack dab center Midwest in the United States. But March 2012 actually ranks as one of the hottest and warmest marches ever in recorded weather history, I guess. And it's dead centered on Illinois, believe it or not. I'll put this map up so you can take a look at it. I have no idea why they did the 1 to 118 scale on it but evidently 118 is the top and then goes all the way down to 1. Out of the entire 48 states of the United States, there's only one state that actually was below normal as far as being warm for March, and that was Washington State at 35. And then California and Oregon were about normal for a March. But then if you start with Illinois or Missouri and work your way east and west, you'll see almost all of those states have a ranking of 118. And then the states that touch them, it's something like 117, 116. This is... Texas, Colorado, uh, Montana. So, yeah, it, it's something to me that just seemed obvious, too. i never seen a March just all of a sudden pop in like summer's happening. It went winter and then March, summer, here in, here in the Chicagoland area at least. So I thought that was kind of unusual. And last up, if you got a chance to see my TDD report back on March 17th, 
I featured Highlight Hunter, a, a program where you could record a length of video, and then if you had a particular, like if you were recording an hour or two of video, whatever you were doing, it didn't necessarily have to be riding a motorcycle, you could actually put your hand up and, and block the front of the camera lens for just a second, and what it would do is it would process that video, and you choose like 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes ahead of that, it would cut out that portion of the video so that you, if you happen to be filming something and you run into a highlight, instead of having to watch the entire hour, two hours long of video, you could go right back and have the program itself go through and actually make these as little individual clips. Well, I got contacted by Noah from Highlight Hunter, and I thought at first, well, maybe this is just one of those ordinary you know, spam emails, you buy a, a piece of software and then you end up getting a reply. Well, I replied back to his email because he was asking how I enjoyed it. I said, it's a great program, it's simple, but it just does one thing very well, so I really like it. And he replied back to me again and we worked out a deal and I asked him if we could possibly do something for my viewers of TDD Report. So right now, if you go to the Highlight Hunter website, and want to purchase it instead of twenty nine ninety nine you're going to get it for half off which is around fifteen bucks all you have to do in the coupon code when you check out is type out tdd report all capital letters all together no spaces or anything just tdd report in capital letters and you'll get fifty percent off and i tell you the software is excellent it does what it says it does it has some adjustments there too for sensitivity but it's a great piece of software, especially for us uh, moto vloggers or anybody that does action sports where you leave a camera running. So 15 bucks, you can't really beat that. I had the option. He was going to send me some free software just to distribute to my viewers, but that would just be a limited number of people. Maybe three, four people would get it absolutely free, and I could send it to them. But this way, everybody that's viewing gets the opportunity. So please, take advantage of this. It's nice. Uh, the, the program that I have, the TDD report, maybe has 100 loyal viewers and maybe another 50 that watch on occasion and uh, I was very honored that he thought it was worth well enough to actually offer a deal to my viewers so please if you're so inclined and can use a piece of software like this take advantage of it I think 15 bucks is well more than reasonable for a useful program like this so anyway that's it for this week everybody take care I will catch you next week